Air Force mechanic, a driver, a cook. How effective will they be? What training did they have before this battle for life? The Air Force training program is designed to teach the fundamentals of M16 rifle defense to all Air Force personnel and to build the confidence and ability required to properly use semi and automatic weapons. Marksmanship is more than just target practice. Military people must be capable of meeting a wide variety of combat situations where accuracy and skill with a rifle will often determine whether or not they will survive. Please fire! Please fire! The M16 was developed to help increase your accuracy and skill with a rifle. Primarily, the weapon's advantages are its semi-automatic and automatic firing capability, a maximum effective range of 500 yards, and its high muzzle velocity, creating great destructive force. And yet, it has relatively light recoil. Constructed of lightweight metal alloys and fiberglass, it weighs a little over six pounds, has a muzzle velocity of 3,250 feet per second, is gas-operated, magazine-fed, air-cooled, and fires semi-automatic or automatic with the accuracy of a sniper rifle and the firepower of a machine gun. Its straight-line design and light recoil minimize muzzle climb while firing. All M16s have the winter trigger guard and flash suppressor. They can also be equipped with a detachable bipod, bayonet, are built to use a telescopic sight, and an M148 grenade launcher. The M16, in effect, is a complete weapon system. In order for anyone to protect his life with a rifle, certain fundamentals must be learned rules which are basic on the range or in actual combat. Safety precautions are essential with any weapon. Each time you pick up a rifle, always think safety. Point it in a safe direction and personally check and clear it. To do this properly, first depress the magazine catch and remove the magazine. Next, unlock and pull back the charging handle and press bottom of bolt catch to lock bolt to rear. Then close the charging handle. Visually check chamber and place the selector lever in the safe position. Prevent accidents. Make safe handling of your rifle an automatic procedure. When you are satisfied the weapon is safe for use, then load it by first filling a magazine which is complete with follower and ammunition guide. Load a 20 or 30 cartridge magazine this way. The M16 may be loaded in one of three ways. With the weapon in left hand, bolt locked to rear, place rifle butt on left hip, and insert the loaded magazine until it locks. Using the same hand, reach over, and press top of bolt catch, releasing bolt and chambering around. Again, if the bolt is back and locked, hold pistol grip with right hand, rest rifle on right hip, insert loaded magazine with left hand, and with left thumb, depress top of bolt catch, chambering around. If the bolt is not locked to rear, insert loaded magazine. Pull charging handle sharply to rear. Instantly release it, chambering around. Normally, when the last round is fired, the magazine follower activates the bolt catch, locking the bolt to the rear. So, to clear your weapon, remove magazine with either your right hand or left hand and move the selector lever to safe position. But 
If the bolt is not locked to rear, remove the magazine and pull the charging handle to rear while depressing the bottom of the bolt catch, which locks the bolt to rear. Then close the charging handle and move the selector lever to safe position. The M16 rifle is an accurate precision weapon if aimed correctly. Proper sight alignment procedures with your rifle are essential toward hitting any target. So follow these three steps. Focus sharp on front post. Then focus on target for identification. Then shift focus back to front sight to ensure front post is centered vertically and horizontally within the rear sight aperture, forming an ideal sight picture like this. Sighting and aiming your rifle with minimum wobble takes practice. Breath control will help reduce unsteadiness in your sight picture. Inhale. Exhale until comfortable. Hold and squeeze the trigger. Pull smoothly to the rear with the pad of the trigger finger between the fingertip and first joint, like this. Practice a steady, smooth squeeze without disturbing sight alignment and avoid misplaced shots through anticipation, which causes jerking or bucking before your rifle fires. Combat shooting with your rifle demands a variety of positions. Stable body positions are essential before other fundamentals can be applied effectively. The prone position is the most stable, either this way, with your forward arm under weapon, rifle butt firmly seated in pocket of shoulder, back straight, feet apart, and heels down, or changed slightly this way. Any sitting position is stable if you shift your weight forward to the supporting arm Maintain bone support for your weapon by solid contact with upper arm and leg. Seat rifle butt firmly in shoulder pocket and lock trigger arm elbow against leg near your knee, like this. Whether you use a cross-ankled or cross-legged or open-legged sitting position, you will maintain stability for your rifle. Kneeling positions are stable when your forward foot is kept flat on ground with about 60% of your weight resting on it and the supporting elbow extended beyond the knee. Keep rifle butt locked in pocket of your shoulder and trigger arm in a comfortable position. Maintain a 90 degree angle at crotch, light contact between buttocks and heel, toes curled or extended, or place the foot on its side. Standing positions can be stable if your body is turned 70 to 90 degrees from target, your feet a comfortable distance apart, weight balanced evenly, body straight, rifle butt high in shoulder pocket, supporting arm under rifle, and head erect. Ready on the right. Ready on the left, ready on the firing line. Fire! Here in dry fire is where your class instruction and theory become factual, begin to have real meaning as your rifle becomes a part of you. Cease fire! Cease fire! Your thinking safety, weapon pointed downrange, sight, sight picture, breath control, and trigger squeeze. Using the pellet rifle is an excellent way to further apply your knowledge and to test your skill. 
Then it's live ammunition. Now it's you and your M16 rifle, making hits and building scores. As you practice the ideal defense positions, you're concentrating on proper sight alignment, sight picture, correctly breathing, no bucking, no jerking, and squeezing the trigger. Then to complete your training with the M16, you fire it automatic from three different positions. Fire! When standing, face and lean toward the target, weight on forward foot and knee flexed. From the hip, same body position. Rifle butt placed just below your hip, forward arm and hand straight and over top of guard. When shooting prone with bipod, steady the rifle butt with free hand on top of stock. Strive to master every portion of your M16 training and you'll develop the needed confidence and ability to properly use your weapon. Cease fire! Cease fire! Unload! Clear your weapon! M16 rifle training is based on the premise that proficiency in the use of shoulder arms is a fundamental skill needed by all military personnel. The defense of Air Force bases and the survival of Air Force personnel may depend upon individual proficiency. Know your M16 rifle well. Remember that it is the finest weapon of its type in existence. Practice with your M16. Keep your shooting skills at their highest level so that whenever you're in a situation of danger, you will live to fight again. <laughs>